All right, the content literally one of you has been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> because he owns an S12. So Brennan got a new oil feed line. It's all a end and pretty. Uh, yeah, it. probably not very well. There's a little bit of it back there. But uh, so now it's not leaking oil, but it's breaking up really bad. So he's gonna change all eight spark plugs. Let's go, baby. Yes, eight intake and exhaust spark plugs. And who else to help but the S chassis master himself? There's a giant coolant leak as well. That's fine. You don't need that. It just comes just pouring out of this side. Well, the faster this engine explodes, the faster you can put a DET in there. I'm not ready right for that. But that whole pipe needs to just go. Yeah. Well. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nice, honestly. hundred percent. This is your like breaking up. That's a lot of it. Your massive vacuum leak that you have right there. And this is just. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. The adapter system. Very beautiful. It's good stuff. I don't know who did this, but it looks swell. It does. It looks professional. Spectre, dude, the 400 mile per hour company. I oh, went for a drive this morning. I've been up for a long while and didn't put the oil cap back on. So I was going to say, there's oil all over the valve cover. I didn't oil. recall I that being. <laughs> <laughs> it was just fucking everywhere. Well, that's nifty. I like the filter on the front of the turbo. See how these goofy heads work? How the manifold looks? Yeah, yeah it's weird. That's like two cylinders come out of one split port. Mm -hmm. It's like a 2JZ. It's weird, huh? But it's weird on a four cylinder. Yeah. Like two little fucking fur. Dude, Charles could manifold. make you a dope tubulog manifold. Just want the turbo up. Have you seen his tubulog hybrid manifolds? Mm -mm. He cuts like at the flange of the manifolds on a 2J or 1J and then tubes it from there. He was making like 400 wheel on one and then he made 480 on one of his manifolds but you know 80 horsepower is pretty monumental but you know for just chopping up the stock one putting a couple tubes on there it's not too bad. <laughs> Although I guess people make like 400 wheel on all stock manifolds but we don't need to pick this apart. It's big. It is me. You like that? Mm -hmm. This man was asking for a breaker bar, and I was like, dude, you know where you are? Oh. Yes. Say thanks to Cody Leach. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Helped out a lot. A lot of screaming and yelling because I'm not heavy enough to push the <laughs> <laughs> So, what were you doing for the motorcycle people out there? I am tightening the chain because look at this. If anybody who owns a motorcycle and doesn't know anything about like when you need to tighten your chain, this is definitely when you need to tighten your fucking chain. <laughs> Sound advice. I, I let it go way too far. <laughs> this is uh, 2016? 15. 15 FZ09. Yep. You're welcome, Canadian. Which they now changed it to MT09, which I'm a little disappointed about because. Master of Torque. Cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool being. Like different from, like the UK was MT, America was FZ, but now they just made it all universal. Brood, I guess is alright. Do you have extensions? Kind of like the GT86. Uh, I think I have half inch extensions in here. Yeah. Sign on. And an adapter. Good luck. It's in there somewhere. So how do you tighten it? So, right here, or, yeah. So you loosen this dulium up, mm -hmm. and then you basically you're moving this plate back, and there's little notches that are cut into it, and just move it back till she's tight, and then tighten everything back up, and good to go. Oh, and if anyone wants a motorcycle, Austin has one for sale. It's, no, I don't. Do you sell it? Yeah. Maybe. Oh damn. Who's who bought it? Self-ending. Oh yeah. 
Who? Uh, one of DS or Devin's DSM buddies. Oh, cool. That bike is sick. Mom's Sounds great. awesome. Old JDM bike, and I was like, well, I got some motorcycles for you. <laughs> you JDM. Don't have to worry about this shaft drive. True. Throw you right off. <laughs> Did you know that's uh the V Max? They add a recall for that. Oh yeah. Yeah, because they like. The head shake. No, the shaft drive, like, when you're going into a corner, if you came all the way off throttle, it would just throw you off the bike. That does not seem very tight at all. So, Justin's dad, his VMAX, he never took it in for the recall, so his is still dangerous. He's like, oh, I'm just not an idiot on it. I was like, I feel like that's probably the first step. Yeah. But a lot of people didn't make it to that step before they ran into the issue. What was the issue? I missed it. God. Or don't do dumb shit like come off throttle in a corner because you're supposed to power through it. Like know how to ride a motorcycle. In a Woo! Oh, damn. <laughs> Just saying. Or drive a car Check out this anything. shirt, dude. Now available on Amazon merch. An interesting combination of rich and lean at the same time. I was gonna time. say, yeah, that's I've never <laughs> seen this before. I don't, I don't know, dude. You got a little bit of both flavors. That's cool. It's not wet, but there's a lot of carbon buildup. Yeah. It's like spumoni ice cream. Pretty white on top. Yeah. Gap isn't like super huge yeah. either. Yeah. You got your yeah. gapper? Yeah, I don't even drive my car. Like, the know, gappy bar? Yeah, I always carry the gapper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I turned my head away and now the chain's tight. Yeah. I Motor missed cycle. it. Easy to see. A lot less wiggle and jiggly. You don't want it like way tight? No. No, no you want a little. You don't want it shaft drive tight? I think it's like what? Quarter? Quarter inch or something? I honestly have no idea. Wow, dude, that's my blaster. Take it easy over there. I'm just going wow. over it. It's a lot tighter than it was. That would be good. Power tools! Thanks, man, for letting me use it. And who, who is it to send it to? Cody Leach. Cody. Badass. He's the man, dude. Yeah. He's made everything way faster. Do you not have to... Did you already adjust this side, too? Yeah, I adjusted the same thing. This, man, this man's a savage. Board. Literally five minutes, and he's done. And you're over here with one spark plug out. We're looking up the gap, all right? Uh-huh. Can we take these back in? Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm What's not the problem? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, just yeah. take it off. Take it off, we'll make a nice little plate, and then it'll go... <laughs> To the spool. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, boss, where are we headed? I want to take this to the meat Friday. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Oh, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> we put Nine, 91 in it or more. what? Of course. Yeah. Why is regular green. I don't know. What kind of people do that? Diesel know. is green. Well, the diesel pump's green, yeah. Slide car, fast. But only the ST's underlying. We screwed up. It's on the wrong side. Did some investigating, learned that one of the injectors was unplugged. Let's see if it chooses any better now. <laughs> something else is there. Yeah, something ain't right. When we plugged Did you pull out any of the other ones on exhaust side while it was running and see no. if that changed anything? No, we, we were wanted just to be back trying here. Trying to get back here. I feel that. Start it up. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to make a difference with that right plug, right? And then pull another one of the exhaust side and see if it changes anything. Well, it sparks! Yeah, yeah, it does that. <laughs> no, don't, don't touch it. Hey, get out of here. I'll trust you. Oh, 
Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed their camera work because I was doing important business. There wasn't much. <laughs> hey, easy there. That one's good. Oh, it made it better. Hold on. Just unplug all the exhaust side ones. And throw them in the garbage. I mean, if you're pulling out two of them... Well, unplug one from the other side and see what happens. Yeah, yeah unplug one from the other side and see what happens. Just unplug it at the distributor. <laughs> what is happening? This is just comical at this point. and only three of them are doing anything. So far, so good. Does not appear to be happy. Fast it is. It's not unplugged. The wiring is janky. But yeah, if it won't run above two. I don't know something. how to That's Nissan. It's on oh. the other side. Fucking Japanese people, am I right? Yeah, like the gas tank flap and all. Did you all put right. all the spark plugs into the right wires? Yeah. Like we were saying too, we've messed with this a little bit, and maybe earlier when you drove it, it was creating enough vacuum to kind of suck it up against there and not be pulling in as much air as it is right now. We've been kind of dicking with it, so maybe it pulled it away, and it's pulling in a lot more air now than it was last time you drove it. You could. Wrap some possibility. Wrap, wrap some tape around it. See no matter what, that's a lot of air to be pulling in aftermath. And those pops that we're hearing are mm. not good pops. That sounds like lean popping to me. And if you don't want to ruin an ill's car, I would not be driving it with the timing that fucked up and, an air, and, an, and a vacuum leak that big. But how would it be ruining it if the engine gets blown up and put a C18 DET in there? 